In Tuvalu with their seven friends Solving trouble with super senses A new day, a silly surprise A fun reason to sensitize Newton Bori and the Super Seven Saving Tuvaluva again and again, yeah Newton Bori and the Super Seven There's nothing that they can't do Shut it, Bori Sound! Luna, Bori Sight! Common sense is taking flight Cozy Bori Touch! Total Bori Touch! With a little nonsense along the way Pony Bori Smell! Now we're on track and Newton Bori leads the path Super Seven, saving Tuvaluva again and again, yeah. Newton Bori and the Super Seven, there's nothing that they can't do. Newton Bori and the Super Seven, Newton Bori and the Super Seven. Coldy Snow Gurries. It was a good day for flying in Tubaluba, and Mambi thought it would be fun to soar through the air as a kite. Yeah! Yeah! Noonbori and Mambi were very proud of their flying skills. Mambi liked flying high, and the Boris were very impressed. Yay, Mambi! Ah, safe and sound. What are we gonna do next, Noonbori? I know. Let's go save some Bori! Ha! Hoo. I don't know any Bori who needs our help right now. Wah! Come on! <laughs> There's super silly villainy out there! I can smell it! Silly Lukey! I don't smell trouble! I smell tuba cherries! Tuba cherries! Mmm! We must be close to Farmer Bori's fruit and vegetable stand. Then let's go, Bo Boris! The Boris loved tuba cherries. Yay! Pongy Bori, slow down! Like all farmers, Farmer Bori was hard at work planting and tending to his crops. He used the best seeds to grow all of the food in Tubaluba. Morning, Glory, Farmer Bori! Morning! Morning, Glory, Farmer Bori! Hello, Noon and Mambi! <laughs> the Boris enjoyed visiting Farmer Bori. He liked to teach them all about farming. <laughs> Morning! What are you picking? Weeds and pebbles. He was always working. I'm getting the ground ready for planting. Seeds need room to grow. Weeds and pebbles get in the way. And he was very careful. Did I miss any? Farmer Bori made sure that his fields were well looked after. You don't want a field full of weeds. <laughs> Are you going to throw them out? The weeds will go into the compost. Come where? Compost. Things we can't eat, like weeds, leaves, and fruit peels, are all mixed together, and later they become food for the soil. Farmer Bori was about to add his weeds to the compost, but first he wanted to give the Boris a treat. How would you like some tuba cherry juice? Yeah! <gasps> oh, no! All my fruits and vegetables! They're gone! This was terrible. Gone? Oh, dear. Farmer Bori was really upset. Oh, no! And my wheelbarrow is gone, too! I bet someone stole them. What am I going to do? Every Bori who comes by looking for delicious fruits and vegetables will go home empty-handed. Boris? Let's make super sense of this. It's time to sensitize. It was time for the Boris to use their super senses. Sight. Sound. Sound. Smell. Poggy Bori smell. Touch. Cozy Bori touch. And taste. Total Bori taste. Super Bori Let's go, Bo Boris! Mambi saw something. These marks in the dirt must be from your wheelbarrow. Aha! But with all our footprints. Luna Bori, can you super see which direction the wheelbarrow went? Seeing is believing. Luna used her super sight to trace the tracks. The trail goes that way. The Boris decided to follow the trail. Don't worry, Farmer Bori. We'll find that wheelbarrow. Hang on, Mambi! Be careful! 
We will! Farmer Bory wanted his wheelbarrow and food back, and the Borys were going to find it. Hmm. The trail led straight to winter. I wonder what that could mean. The Borys drove deep into winter to look for the wheelbarrow. Here's the wheelbarrow! What was it doing there? Mine! Do you think Coldy Gurry took the wheelbarrow? Coldy Gurry? Go away! All mine! This wheelbarrow doesn't belong to you. It's Farmer Bory's. You shouldn't have taken all those fruits and vegetables without asking. For Coldy's Gurries. What a silly snowman. They're not just for Coldy Gurry. They're for every Bory. Give them back. Jetty may be right. Please? But that's not a nice way to talk. Give back? Yes, give Farmer Bory's crops back. But Coldy hmm. didn't want to. Talking doesn't work. A hero has to be tough, especially with the greedy Gurry. Luki decided to take matters into his own hands. Mine! What are you doing? I'll give you your scarf back when you give us back everything you took. Give back to Coldy Gurry. No! Give it back, Luki Bory. Wait! Give me back! No, this'll work. He took stuff from Farmer Bory, so I'm taking stuff from him. Two wrongs don't make a right. Give me back! <gasps> Coldy was getting really upset. Coldy Gurry snowballs! And do you know what happens when Coldy gets upset? Snowballs pop out of his hat. Very silly, isn't it? Coldy Gurry wanted his scarf back. Do you think Luki was right to take Coldy's scarf? Whoa! Oh no. Dead end. We all know Coldy was a big softy and that he wasn't nearly as scary as he seemed. But he was pretty big. On second thought, maybe he wasn't such a great idea. Luki felt bad about taking Coldy's scarf. Hmm? Coldy, Gurry, stop now! But Coldy was still unhappy about his scarf and wanted it back. Here, I'll give it back to you. Oops. Oh, no! <gasps> Uh-oh. Luki accidentally hit Coldy's hat. Silly Coldy. He really needs to learn how to manage his temper. Meanwhile, the crows had some ideas of their own. No! Bad crows! Stop! You see, the crows knew where Coldy Gurry had taken all the food. He was using it to make faces for his snowman friends. Bad crows! <laughs> Coldy Gurry wanted his snow gurry friends to have faces, but the crows had gone and eaten their noses. Coldy Gurry couldn't have eaten all of them. Could he? Snow gurries. The crows have ruined them. I thought Coldy Gurry was just greedy and stole the food to eat it. Just because Coldy Gurry stole the food for decorating snow gurries doesn't make it right. <sighs> Coldy Gurry was sorry. Coldy take. Coldy wrong. Now Coldy give back. He apologized to the Boris. Thank you. Thank you. Here, I, uh, two wrongs don't make a right. I'm sorry. Loki felt bad too and gave him back his scarf. Coldy was happy. Thank you. We can take the good fruits and vegetables back to Farmer Bory. But what do we do with the ruined ones? It can go into Farmer Bory's compost. Composting the food would make good soil for the fields. The compost? Mm. I've got a sensational idea. Thank, Thank you, you, Farmer Bory. <laughs> Thank you. All together, we are better. Yeah! yeah! Farmer Bory was happy to get his wheelbarrow and food back. Wow, Boris! And Noon Bory was able to help Coldy Gurry make faces for his friends using stones instead of food. You Ooh. won't have to worry about crows anymore, Coldy Gurry. Luki was right. Crows don't eat stones. Crows don't care to eat pebbles and weed. <laughs> Snow Gurries! Coldy's Gurries! Coldy Gurry wasn't upset anymore. And Noon Bory was glad he was able to help. <laughs> I guess a hero doesn't always have to be tough. Being kind kind of works. Sensational sensitizing, everybody. It goes to show you, being kind to one another Yay! 
is the best way to make friends. It's Super Boy Sensational! Yay! <laughs> forest was full with sounds of a building project. Hammering and sawing. Who could be causing all that noise? Why, it was our friends, the Builderboris. Builderboris, we have your vines. Noonbori wanted to help and flew in with some new supplies. Yeah! Ready, Jettybori? Ready! The Builderboris were working on a surprise project. With these vines, we'll build a toy for every Bori to enjoy. We'll build great swings! Meanwhile, at the beach... Two things a pirate gurry must have. One, a pirate hat. And two, a pirate boat. The pirates were having trouble with their boat. Mongery! Tagery! What is wrong with this picture? Do you know what's wrong with their boat? I don't see a picture, but I see a big hole in the boat. Oh! What do you want us to do, boss? I want you to fix the boat! Oh, dear. Why don't you show us what to do? I am an evil mastermind, not some boat fixer. But the Gurries didn't know how to fix the boat. The Builder Boris. The Builder Boris! They could fix the boat! Twangery thought he had a brilliant idea. The Builder Boris could fix the boat. Noonbori and Jetty Bori were going to see what the Builder Boris were building. All done! The Builder Boris were very proud of the swings they had built. It was made with great pride for their friends. Everyone would have so much fun swinging on them. But why were the Gurries here? Did they come to swing too? Can we, I mean, may we give the swings a try? Swing high, swing low, as sky high as you can go. Noonbori tried the swing and had a lot of fun. He was going really high. Yeah! Noonbori was flying back and forth and thought that his friends would like to swing, too. It's super boring fun! He was swinging as high as he could. Oh, no! Builder Boris, it's your turn to try. Where did the Builder Boris go? Huh? Nobody saw them leave. Hey! Uh. Noon Bori decided to investigate. Hey, did the Builder Boris take off without saying goodbye? This was suspicious. Hmm. They would never leave all of their construction helmets. The Builder Boris didn't take off. They were taken. We need the super sensors. Noonbori was concerned. It's time to sensitize. Noonbori threw his magic cape into the air to let the Boris know there was a problem. The Boris got the message and went to help their friends. It's sensing time. Sight. Luna. Sound. Jetty Bori sound. Smell. Pongy Bori smell. Touch. Cozy Bori touch. And taste. Total Bori taste. Super Bori senses. Noon Bori took command. Someone took the Builder Boris. <gasps> this is tragic. Jetty Bori. Can you use your super hearing to locate them? Jetty Bori used her super hearing. Woodpecker, BBs, water. Whoa! Hey! Wait, 
Wait, I'm getting something. It's the Builder Boris. <laughs> she heard them. Wangari, you can't make us fix your boat. And that's not all she heard. I want my boat off the beach and in the water now! Jetty knew where they were. Super silly villainy. Wangari's taking them to the beach. <laughs> the Boris were happy to know where their friends were and went off to the rescue. The mean Guris relaxed while the Builder Boris were working hard. Not fair. Ah, this is great, boss. Less chores, more chewing. Yeah! Who is for keeping those Builder Boris for doing all our work, say I? That's not very nice, is it? Boy! <laughs> Wangari was bossy. Get back to work! The Builder Boris didn't know what to do. Luckily, Noonbori had a plan. Noonbori! <laughs> Keep the Guris busy. Mambi and I will get the Builder Boris. <laughs> get the boat back in the water! <laughs> The Builder Boris saw a chance to escape. And while they ran, <gasps> hey! Wangari was in hot pursuit. But Wangari didn't want them to get away. Wangari lost his temper and decided to tag the Boris with his sticky tongue. <laughs> Pretty silly. Toto Bori, Wangari is going to need a tongue twister. Coming right up. Noon Bori asked Toto Bori to use his super sense of taste to find a way to stop Wangari. There were lots of tasty things in the woods, so Totobori put his sense of taste to work. Mmm, minty. Sweet moss. He found something that tasted awful. Yuck! Bitter tree bark! Noonbori! Over here! Meanwhile, the Builder Boys were being rescued. Climb on! Huh? Tagory! Mongery! How? <laughs> Jetty Bori wanted to help her friends too. Yeehaw! She caught Mongery to give the Builder Boris more time to get away. Pongy Bori wanted to help too. The Boris were distracting the Guris when Wangery noticed the Builder Boris were trying to escape. He tried to stop them. He was very sneaky with that long, sticky tongue. After all, he was a frog. Hold on! What was Totobori doing? Totobori was making Wangari taste the bitter bark. Yuck! Wangari had a very bad taste in his mouth. This tastes terrible! <laughs> Meanwhile, silly Mungari and Tagari had to get back to the boat in a big hurry. <laughs> Ouch! That hurt! Silly Guris! This was not a good day to be trying to get the Builder Boris to do things for the Guris without asking first. <laughs> come on! Come on, Porsche! We're out of here! <laughs> the Guris were trying to leave. Do you think they learned their lesson? <laughs> After them! They're getting away! Let them go. We got our friends back. Uh, nobody defeats my villainy! Nobody! Duck! Watch your head, Wangari! <laughs> oh. 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 Boss! Wake up! Are you okay? Uh, what are you waiting for? A trap the sail! Oh, he's okay. The Boris were happy again. We would have been happy to fix that boat, it's true. If those Guris would only say please and thank you. Sensational sensitizing. All was back to normal in Tubaluba. Time to play on the new swing and to have some fun. The Builder Boris were proud of the job they had done. And Noonbori was happy to see everyone enjoying the new swing. It had been a long, busy day in Tubaluba. <laughs> see us as we dance around, hear us stomping.